Uh, John, have you got any hidden talents? Have you got any talent? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I've got hidden talents. Yeah, cos this can't be it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're good at Countdown. You now play Countdown for a living. So, all right, I'm better than, you know, this lot. <laughs> I watch real Countdown. So there was one this week. Mad, wasn't it? The, the guy who was on for his Octo champ. Scored 100 points and lost on regular... I know you guys don't engage with the real game. But... <laughs> I didn't even know it was still on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Octo-Champ? Octo-Champ. You're only allowed to win eight on the real show. And then yeah. what? You get killed. <laughs> <laughs> I know I speak on behalf of the nation when I say, you've won eight, so why don't you fuck off? <laughs> 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 Lee, what's your biggest regret in life? Well, I don't know. Probably either killing that man in a car park fight... <laughs> Uh, watching the Emoji movie, probably that. <laughs> Trusting that that proctologist was a real one. Was he in the park? He was in a van at Thresher's. <laughs> John, did you bring a mascot? You normally bring a mascot. Not a lot of people know this about me, cos I think people see him as sort of quite a traditional bloke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually a big fan of musical theatre. Oh. Uh, so I've written a musical about this. I've written a musical about our show. Are so we can. To sing? Um, you, you don't need to sound so worried. <laughs> I think what you mean is, are you about to sing? <laughs> no. Are you about to sing? Like, yeah, no, are you about just... to get your cock out? <laughs> <laughs> you sing with your cock? <laughs> <laughs> I've written a musical about this show. It's called Cats. Does Countdown. <laughs> um, I've had quite an angry letter from Andrew Lloyd Webber. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. They're clearly completely different. <laughs> So it's very exciting. The only problem is I'm not really very musical, so what I've done is, for the songs, I've just ripped off a load of songs from other musicals. Um, so, from Mamma Mia, I've got Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> um, How does Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy go? Uh, just right. sing us a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> just sing us a little bit. Um, so, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy goes, Jimmy, 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 your hair is so shiny. <laughs> just one squeezy bottle keeps the grey hairs away. <laughs> Jimmy, 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 your teeth are so shiny. Let's meet for a coffee at the M6 Tea Bay. <laughs> <laughs> I think Abba is shit. Is that controversial? Wow. Uh, boring songs. Sure, I mean, compared to this, they're shit. Yeah. <laughs> compared to this, Abba so... are nothing. I mean, you've clearly... you've got a talent here. <laughs> from the... from the like... this is actually a Susie song. So Susie stands up and sings, Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Unfortunately, it's not in the Oxford English Dictionary, so you don't get the point. <laughs> <laughs> then your plastic surgeon comes on and sings <laughs> from Wicked, Defying Gravity. <laughs> Then, obviously, I, I lose the episode and go home and talk to my wife at length, and she sings from Frozen, Let It Go. <laughs> um, then we end with Grease is the word. Unfortunately, you could have added the D and the other team got greased, so the points go to them. Um, and that's uh, Cats does count down the musical. <laughs> John Richardson, everyone. <laughs> David O'Doherty, finally an answer to the question, what would it look like if David O'Doherty let himself go? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question for you. What's the best thing you've ever found? Oh, like, um... I'm not suggesting you're a womble, but there is a similarity. <laughs> uh, I found a flashlight. So, so do, do you know, it's like, so it's, it's not a sex aid. It's more like sort of sexy Pringles. Uh, <laughs> it was in the first <clears throat> lockdown, and I was living on an island with my parents, and I felt a bit like Tom Hanks waiting for my volleyball best friend to arrive on the island. And then one day, it, was, it washed up, and uh, it was... Yeah, I didn't know what it was initially. I thought it might be a telescope or a lightsaber. And <laughs> because I was on the island for another three months with Jim and Anne, I did spend a lot of time trying to imagine the scenario in which... Because it had fallen off a ship, but I want to know how... You know so it's a sailor who gets addicted, you know, and the captain's like, Yar, why is no one swabbing me decks? Or whatever. <laughs> It's either that or the captain got addicted to it and he attached it to the bottom of the ship's steering wheel. So when he's like, yar, you know, <laughs> I love the choppy waves. And <laughs> he was doing it so much, his vision started to go and he didn't see the iceberg. It's a retelling of Titanic, but... Uh, <laughs> with my flashlight. Am I the only one that's not heard of this thing? What, a flashlight? It looks like a torch. It has a synthetic vagina in it. No way. Yeah, it's a modern technology. What are we even doing here? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe...
really like, someone asked me like how I feel if my husband got a flashlight and I wouldn't like it, but like, it's because like I've never seen him wipe down a kitchen surface. <laughs> I still, Harriet, I still don't understand with them whether you have to provide the proportion. Why are you asking me? I don't or... know. <laughs> well, it depends which one you buy. There's obviously, there's, there's grades. There's, there's the... Oh, you've got the <laughs> best one, haven't you, Jim? What? Is any of this broadcasting? <laughs> um, and with David, of course, it's Susie Dent. I've got to make a public safety announcement. Please uh, don't listen to Susie's podcast in the bath. That's how we <laughs> lost Whitney Houston. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible. I'd say 30 oh. seconds of this is usable so far. <laughs> <laughs> They're upstairs in the gallery going, we're going to have to keep the flashlights. <laughs>